I just thought I'd share with you this um, this tip to get great quality time lapse footage, um, almost 4K size, um, for as little as ten pounds. I bought this old Canon PowerShot camera off a local free ad site for ten pounds. Um, it works fine. Uh, look in the menu. There's no time lapse option by default in this, so I'm just going to show you how you can put time lapse onto a Canon PowerShot camera, even though it's not built into it. Right, so just type into Google CHDK and it will come up with the right site. That stands for Canon Hack Development Kit and it uh, is a temporary change to your camera to enable it to have extra functions. So the full web address is chdk.wikia.com So let's just go there. If you scroll down, on the right hand side there's a list of camera models that it's compatible with. So check the camera you're getting is compatible. This one is a PowerShot A560. So I'll go to A560 and see that it's compatible. So what I now need to do is scroll up and I'll go to their download section, CHDK Downloads. Now on that page scroll down to the latest stable build and click here to download. OK and then there's a list of camera models. So if I find my PowerShot A560, there it is. I'll download that and I'll save that. Now what I need to do on the camera first is format the memory card. OK, that's done. I'll turn the camera off. Take the SD card out and put it in the computer. And if I browse to the memory card and paste in that file I've just downloaded and I'll extract that straight to the memory card that puts all these files on the on the card so what we need to do, I can delete that zip file now if we put that card back in the camera when I turn the camera on it's exactly as it was, everything's exactly the same so I turn it off. What I need to do is instead of turning it on with the on button, you turn it on with the play button, which gives you some extra menu options. So now if I go into the menu, there's a third tab at the top. I need to go to this one here. You need to find firmware update in the menu. And it's detecting the firmware on the card that I've just copied to it. So you do a firmware update. Look, now it's saying CHDK is installed. So if we go to take a picture mode, you'll see the display has changed. There's uh, exact battery usage and some other things. Uh, now on this camera, you get, it's the print button. So I suppose it varies by different cameras. If I press this, then I've got this menu coming up. This is the CHDK menu which allows you to do a lot more things such as manual focus etc. But as it stands at the minute that menu doesn't give me the ability to do a time lapse. So what I need to do is download this, see it says this option load script from file. So I need to get a script 
for it to be able to read to do a time lapse. So back to the computer. Now I'm going to put links in the description, but what you need to search for now is chdk countdown intervalometer. That will take us to this page where we can download an extra file. If you scroll down the page you'll see the under the download heading download the countdown intervalometer script. So it's another zip file, so another advert, skip this ad. Save that file. Open. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to insert the SD card from the camera back into the computer. Okay, I'm going to paste what I've just downloaded onto the memory card. We're going to extract it. So put it in this folder. There's uh, instructions how to use this script. But what you need to do this counter.bass file. We need to put that in the chdk folder. There's a folder called scripts. You just paste it in there. There it is. Okay, and then just to clean up, I'm going to delete these zip file and the folder it created because you don't need duplicates. Okay, so we put the card in the camera. Start up with the play button. Go into the menu. And every time you start it, you have to do the firmware update. So press the button that gets our default script showing. Now I need to go into menu, load script from file. I find the name of that script we just put in there, which was interval.baz. And then you see, let's just zoom in. You see, you've now got an option of how long you want between the photos. So if I set that at six seconds, back. Right, now I go to take a photo. should wait six seconds and then take another one. Well, it's just going to keep on going. I've got this in auto mode so the flash is going off. You wouldn't normally have a flash going off when you're doing a time lapse. But I did try this out today for the first time and here's the results. Just to explain about the image size and the resolution, um, this is a 7.1 megapixel camera. So if I take a picture, this is the image size, the resolution there on the screen. And for comparison, there is 4K resolution. Um, so you can see the camera's got more height than a 4K resolution, but not quite the width. So it's a very good quality picture for um, high quality video playback. And then if I show you that compared to the, the normal um, 1920 by 1080 HD resolution, you can see that it's, um, it's quite a lot bigger than your normal TV resolution. So there's plenty of scope in there for taking a static shot and zooming in quite a lot so the camera can pan around. You might have noticed my ones 
the camera was panning. That's, that was a static shot, and I just used the software to pan around to make it more interesting. Um, running off batteries as well, um, the camera lasted about two hours. So anything longer than that, um, you'd have to look into a power supply. This model has a separate power input, but there are other types available where you um, power, you put fake batteries in with a wire coming out of them. I'll put a link to the sort, that sort of thing in the description as well. Hope you found this useful because I found it quite confusing when I was starting to look into it.